everybody. Welcome back to the trek. I'm Molly. And I'm Danny. And welcome back to part two of the differences between the AT and the PCT. So last time we covered gear and logistics. And this time we're going to do the other three, which are weather, culture, and the physicality of the trails. So let's hop right into it. The next big topic we want to talk about is the weather. So the weather and the predictability are very different between these two trails. On the AT, that Appalachian mountain weather, it changes every hour. You never know what you're going to get. But on the PCT, you'll know exactly what you're going to get. You will know a week out what the weather is going to be like. So every stretch is very predictable, which leads us into our next one, which is the rain. On the PCT, I think we had one day of rain in our entire five month through hike. Where the AT, like we said earlier, it's going to rain almost a third of the days that you're on trail. And we're not talking a light sprinkle, we're talking torrential downpour. On the opposite side of rain, let's talk about the sun. On the PCT, you're getting sun every day and it can get extremely hot. So you have to be really careful when it comes to how much water you're drinking and also protecting your skin. The beauty of the Appalachian Trail is it is green tunnel pretty much the entire time. So you're always protected from the sun. However, the flip side of it is it is so humid that that hot weather feels even hotter on the East Coast. Next topic we're gonna to talk about is wind. And we were totally taken by surprise on our PCT through hike on how much wind there actually is. I think half of our hike was windy. There were so many nights where we had to break down camp and move somewhere else because our tent was just blowing in the wind. You're still dealing with wind on the AT as well, but there's so much green tunnel around you that's breaking the wind. And the only time you're truly exposed is when you're up in the Alpine zone in New England and on the balds in Southern Appalachia. So the next big topic we're gonna to talk about is culture. And we think trail culture is just mm -hmm. as important as the actual hike when picking either the Appalachian Trail or the Pacific Crest Trail. So first up on the AT, we're gonna talk about on-trail culture. There are so many established campsites and shelters along the trail that it really does foster a community vibe while you're hiking. So many times you'll show up to a campsite or to a shelter and there'll be a big fire already going and a bunch of hikers hanging around. On the PCT, there really aren't any shelters and fires are a no-go. You still get some of those big group campsites, but they're a lot more spaced out and more than often than not, you're camping in smaller campsites alone. Let's talk about the towns on trail. Mm -hmm. So the, in the AT culture, you know, there are so many towns where this is their money maker. You know, they're waiting for all these hikers to come through town. There's a lot more amenities and a lot more hostels when you're on the AT every time you come into town. And like we were saying before, because of the towns being so far off of the Pacific Crest Trail, mm -hmm. a lot of times you're going through ski towns, and just towns that aren't as familiar with the culture. So you will run into a lot of people that have no idea what you're doing. There's still an amazing network of trail angels in both of these communities. I just think there's a little bit more built up on the AT. Our last big topic is the physicality between these two trails. So let's talk about the grade. On the PCT, the grade is capped at a certain percentage because it's not only a footpath, it's also a pack animal trail. So these climbs are a lot more gradual. But on the AT, I don't know who designed it, but you're going straight <laughs> up the mountain. I remember so many times on the Appalachian Trail, my knees being sore. And I remember on the PCT, my knees were never sore. So there's definitely a physicality difference between the two. And not only the actual grade of the trail, but let's talk about the climbs. On the PCT, you're ascending one mountain for the entire day and descending it the same exact day. And that whole time, you're just switchbacking up that trail. Yeah. It is so nice. The AT, it's not as nice as that. You're getting up the mountains a lot faster, but it is straight up. You're dealing with ladders, you're dealing with rock scrambles, and you're going over many, many hills every single day. And there's puds everywhere. <laughs> Next up, what type of mileage are you gonna be doing on these trails? So because the PCT is so much more gentle on your legs, um, you're usually averaging about 20 to 30 miles per day on it. What was our biggest day on the PCT? We did a 45 mile day and that was a regret because we had to take three days off after that. On the AT, we could never. I think we did 33 on the AT in one day and we had to take two days off after that. We actually did a 44. <laughs> it was the four state challenge and we did, you're right, three days off. But typically on the AT, you're really only doing between 15 to 20 miles a day. The terrain is just so much more rough and rugged, so it just slows you down. The last thing we want to touch on is the altitude. So when you're on the PCT, 
the highest point you're going over is 13,000 feet and that's at Forester Pass. And when you're in the Sierras, you're dancing at that 8,000 foot range the whole time. So you have to be really aware of altitude sickness and letting your body adjust to this. And on the opposite end, the highest you'll be on the Appalachian Trail is at Clingman's Dome at 6,643. You don't really ever feel the altitude sickness on this trail, so you shouldn't really worry about altitude. Regardless of which trail you're thinking about doing, you really can't go wrong. There's just a lot to think about on both trails. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're a first timer, we hope that there was some information provided for you. Um, if you have any suggestions or ideas, drop them down in the comments so others can see it. We would love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out guys.